Hey YouTube, so this is video three. Um, uh, the first two was one was just announcing that I quit smoking, and the uh, video number two was why I quit smoking. Um, and this video is going to be about the pains that you physically go through when you quit smoking. You know, everybody tells you that, you know, well, any previous smoker tells you that when you quit smoking, that you, um, all, it's like all of a sudden you have all of this crazy energy and you feel great and you can ah, breathe, right? Bullshit. Um, it's not true <laughs> for me. Now, mind you, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not even in the medical field. I'm in the health and health and the health and wellness industry and direct sales. And I'm in car sales. Um, advertising back into stuff. I'm not directly in car sales. Um, so this is my experience. This is experiences of people that I have talked to in my um, quit smoking support groups and forums, which I will have the links to those below the video for you guys to um, maybe if, if you're trying to quit, jump over in that video or sorry, in the groups and all that, you know, it's pretty awesome um, to have that ability and have the support that you can get from other people because I probably would have already gone to the hospital because some of these things that have been going on make me, one, think that I've got, like, some kind of cancer. I said it, the word, the big ugly word that smokers don't like. Um, some of the other ones made me think that I just had some major digestive issues. Um, you know, all, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to read something to you. So I'm not going to look at you guys for a minute. And this is a note because I made a doctor's appointment today, um, for June 6th. Unfortunately, I'm going to call in the morning and see if I can get in. But so <clears throat> I stopped smoking back and back while well, I began stopping, stopping Sorry, I sorry. I began the stopping process of quitting smoking back on April 20th. I stopped fully on April 29th. I have been crying. My moods are really up and down. I have severe pain in the left side of my back shoulder area down to my ribs. It's a burning sensation, and I know that. It's probably from the damage that I do have in my neck and my shoulder because it feels like that. Um, however, it's a burning sensation um, and it does come slightly around to the front of my rib cage as well. And it's all on the left, which is really weird. Um, and don't mind my eyes. I have been crying today. Uh, so... <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I have that pain. So that freaks has been freaking me out. Um, I have been getting, um, my nose has been really, 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 really dry. And I know that a lot of it is my allergies. And, um, so it creates blood in the nasal passages because I use nasal sprays and then I blow my nose and I do this and I do that. So, I've been having a lot of more than usual for me, um, but it could be just coming back. Years ago, I had to take um, steroid shots for my allergies because they were so bad. So it could be that, and I've just forgotten, but these are what I've been experiencing since I quit. Um, the hoarse voice, it's like I... It's like I'm sick, but I'm I'm not. Um, so I did do some research, and apparently, when we smoke, um, your body begins to create extra mucus and to protect all of the airway and nasal passages from the cigarette smoke. And so when you quit smoking cold turkey, you um, your body doesn't know to stop making that much mucus, and I can feel it because when I'm talking. I feel it coming up. Um, so I've gotten that. It's driving me crazy. Um, 
it's also, you know, being in the day and age that we are in, we research a lot of symptoms and hoarse voice is a symptom of, um, of, of, of cancer from smoking, some sort of cancer. Um, I've had bleeding gums, which makes me have even worse bloody snot. Um, mucus clearing out. I've had some itchy skin, especially like my nose area. Uh, I spoke to a girl. She hasn't had any blemishes, but it's, I guess it's common. Um, one thing I've noticed is that my lips have much more color to them than they used to. They're not as dull. I've had a very dry mouth and a very dry throat. And so I carry this thing around with me full of water and I fill it up probably five, six times a day, which is putting me at over 100 ounces of water, which is totally okay because you need to drink a lot of water when you quit smoking. Um, so my back hurts, my muscles hurt, my anxiety um, is really fucking with me bad. Uh I had an attack on Friday and then today I had another one and it was because my whole left side, probably from like right here all the way down to, well, let me, you know what? It'd be easier if I just stood. So it's probably all the way down to like right here in this part and up and maybe over in here just a little bit um, is where it burns. And <laughs> two years ago, I went cliff jumping and I actually landed wrong with this arm and it jammed everything up and it made me off balance. You can kind of see here um, that is starting to flare up again. But another thing, that I wanted to talk about is I don't like mentally, I don't want a cigarette. Like I'm done. I, I'll never smoke again. I'm pretty sure that's on the first video. If you watched it, um, I won't smoke again and uh, going through what the, I'm going through right now. It, no fucking way. Am I ever picking up another cigarette? And my goal is to eventually be off of this, um, which I have pretty much for the last week. I haven't really had it. And this is only three milligrams, by the way. Um, and I've only maybe take five or 10 puffs a day. So I don't even think that's equivalent to a cigarette. Um, but it's not just the nicotine, guys. It's And, and I have another video that I'm going to actually link below mine, and it's to Dr. Berg. And he talks about... Um, quitting smoking and the dangers that it can be. Um, and he mentions even vaping is better because it's not the nicotine necessarily. It's all the other chemicals that are in there that our body is trying to get rid of now, you know? Um, so just a real quick recap. Uh, this has went over longer than I wanted it to, but if you're getting bloating with massive gas pains that really shoot up into your chest, almost if you've ever had any kind of surgery, like where you've been cut open in the abdomen area, you'll know what I'm talking about. So you get that. You get bloating to the point where you look like you're nine months pregnant. This, and these things are the first few days I noticed. Um, you do get a... I, I, I didn't really have a headache. So I, I'm one of those who didn't. Um, a lot of people do. That's a much more common side effect. You can get bleeding gums. You can get dry, itchy skin. You definitely get the dry, um, hoarse voice because the body's trying to take a back step on producing all of this mucus and it's still here. Um, Somebody has gotten the like pains in their legs. So you like muscle um, pain where you're getting um, Charlie horses. 
um, you can get sweating. I got, I, I got hot flashes really, really bad a couple of days ago. And I was just like, Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I am only 41. I'm not going through menopause. <laughs> That's what I thought because then it took me a minute to be like, Oh, you know what? I bet you it's from not smoking. Well, looking into my groups and the forums that I'm in, yes, um, there's been um, thousands of people who have also ex um, experienced this stuff. Um, let me see. My throat kind of just sometimes feels tight. Um, a lot of people get hungry. I didn't. Uh, and it's probably because I take a lot of supplements, um, and some of them are appetizer suppressants, even, um, even though, well, they're okay. I'm not going to try to explain that they're appetite suppressants, but they're, um, Plexa slim. And then there are key therapeutic ketones that I drink. And a lot of people worry about their sugar. Okay. So, oh, another thing, you're super tired the first couple of days super tired because you've been used to getting glucose from a cigarette. Well, guess what glucose does? It gives you energy. So when you take that away, your body again is in shock. Oh yeah. Who knew? Um, and there you go. You're going to lose the energy from that glucose that you have been giving to, you know, and if you smoke 20 packs a day or sorry, 20 a day, that's a lot. Um, so you are tired. A lot of people start craving and going towards sugar. Um, I didn't. Again, I, it's because I'm just going to show you guys. It's because of this. All right. I, 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 something I've had for years. And it broke my um, Diet Coke sugar addiction before. Um, so Dr. Berg talks about taking things. But these are some of the things that I have been doing. And then I've been watching some other stuff. Um that I'm going to order some more supplements to help with different things that I wasn't aware of. And the video for that, I'm going to tell you, he's got Dr. Berg. He's a keto doctor. I believe he lives in Tennessee. He is a doctor, like a real physician. He sees people. He is very knowledgeable and he loves to teach people. And he's actually the reason I'm making the videos because he has a video about the dangers of quitting smoking too fast. Um, so, I just happened to come across that and I've been wanting to do a blog, but I figured a video for something like this would be a lot better, but I got this off Amazon. I don't know if you can, there you go. And it's just, you can, oh, I guess you could get it on oh, GNS, but it's, it's herbs for lung care is all it, all it is. Um, it, uh, has just a lot of different supplements and stuff in it. And then I have um, Plexus X Factor Plus. Okay. Now, Dr. Berg talks about um, vitamin. Uh, hold on. I wrote, I wrote this stuff down so that I wouldn't forget. He talks about vi B vitamins and um, B vitamin 1 to help with, like, adrenal fatigue. Um, and this has... 7,000% of your daily value of vitamin B12, 1,000% of vitamin B6, and I'm not seeing vitamin B1. So it looks like I will be ordering vitamin B1. So I'll be looking for that. I'll find some on Amazon and I'll put the link below the video to you and to this one. And then he also talked about um, these three things right here. He said we can get, sorry about that again. He said them that we can get them in health food stores. So let's see if this will zone in a little bit better for you. Probably won't. And I don't know if you all can read this, but um, I'm going to look for these on Amazon as well. And I'll put the link underneath of that video again to these. I'm also going to put Dr. Berg's link there too, so that you guys can go jump over and watch him. And it's not as long as this one. I think it was seven minutes. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just going 
over. And then he talks about some of potassium is one that you need to take. And then he talks about adipatogens, and I'm not 100% sure what those are. I didn't look them up before I made the video, um, but the video he talks about that is also going to be below this for you. And he talks about getting um, green tea and black tea decaf because it helps to calm the nervous system, which is what nicotine does to you. And I learned that in his thing. And so that is one reason why when we quit smoking, um, we're anxious and we're tense and, and we're like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? And, you know, you ha today I had a full blown panic attack to the point that I had to call the ambulance. It was really bad. Um, and then obviously I started crying after, and that's why my eyes are all red. And I look a little um, stoned probably because I took some medication for it. Um, but it was the ambulance was here. The paramedic sat and talked to me for probably 45 minutes. My blood pressure was elevated. Um, my O2 oxygen was going from 99 to 97, fluctuating a little bit. My heart rate went from 150 beats a minute down to like 64. Um, so I had a full blown attack and it was all because of these weird pains I've been having and the detox, you know, it's, it's so hard on your body. Um, and that for these reasons, this is why I'm never picking up another cigarette. I do not want to ever go through what I have been going through for the last well, seven, it's been a little longer, but it wasn't this bad because I was still smoking. But the past seven days have been fucking horrible. Excuse my language. But it, I'm at week one and, I, and I'm and i happy. I'm, I'm happy here. You know, I, I know that I'm over the hardest part of the first three days or, you know, the first week, the first, whatever. Everybody is different. So um, again, below the video, I'm going to have some links for you guys that will help you in your quitting smoking journey. It will link to a couple of other YouTube videos. Um, and then it's going to link to a couple of, um, Facebook support groups for quitting smoking. And I, um, will have links to some of the stuff that I get on Amazon and I'll have the links for you to be able to order, um, these other vitamins and all that good stuff. So again, um, give me a thumbs up if this helped you at all. Um, leave a comment below. I really want to, you know, I, I really want to start connecting with people that are trying to quit smoking because I was going crazy. I, I don't have, I, I, I was going crazy. I didn't have a mentor or a sponsor. I had nobody I could really, really just talk to, you know, and now I'm doing better. And I have some people that I could talk to. I friend requested them on Facebook through that Facebook group for quit smoking. And, and that's really helped. So, um, don't do it alone. Um, and I didn't tell anybody about my goal because, I have done it before. Oh, I'm quitting smoking and I, I didn't succeed. Um, but something just kicked in and said, Kelly, you got to quit, you know, and I know a lot of it has to do with, um, some health changes I've been making. Um, I've been doing fasting and, um, just intermittent fasting and, and, and eating in like the keto realm, um, probably 90% keto. And, uh, yeah, so it's, I, I'm on a quest for health. I am on a run to make my life by design. I am on a run to make my life by Kelly and the rest of my life is going to be better than the first part of my life. And I am going to watch my grandbabies grow up and I am going to watch my grandbabies get married and I'm going to have great grandbabies. So. Anyway, I hope you follow me. I hope you get some really good tips and advice out of the video. I will be trying to make sure to get one video up a day on how I felt, different things I went through for the day, um, and all that great stuff. So I look forward to hearing from you. I hope everybody has an amazing night. Thank you so much.